All GNSS systems are comprised of three primary segments, the space segment, the control segment, and the user segment. The GNSS space segment consists of the satellites. The GNSS satellites orbit the Earth roughly every 12 hours or twice a day and are considered to be in medium Earth orbit at an elevation of about 12,000 miles above the Earth's surface. They are not like the geosynchronous or geostationary satellites you might use for satellite TV. Each satellite broadcasts two carrier frequencies referred to as the L1 and L2 frequencies. These frequencies carry several informational messages. The first, the almanac, provides information about the whole constellation, from which the receiver can locate satellites based on the date, time, and location on the Earth. A new almanac is uploaded to the satellites each day, and a GNSS receiver downloads and stores the almanac information in its internal memory each time it is turned on and tracks satellites. A receiver with an old almanac will take longer to acquire satellites overhead than a receiver with a new almanac. The second important satellite message, the ephemeris, contains orbital data specific to each satellite. The GNSS receiver uses this information to calculate the position of that specific satellite. The orbital data is transmitted along with a code that serves as an extremely precise timing reference. Other information, such as satellite health, is also transmitted. If a satellite is not operating properly, or there are possible errors in its position, the satellite is designated as unhealthy, and its signals are automatically ignored by the GNSS receiver. The GNSS system is operated and maintained by a series of ground control stations called the control segment. There is two-way communication between the control segment ground stations and the satellites in orbit. For the US GPS satellite system, the Air Force maintains five primary NAVSTAR control centers around the globe. The headquarters is based at the US Space Command in Colorado Springs, Colorado. The others are located in Hawaii, Kwajalein Atoll in the South Pacific, Diego Garcia Island in the Indian Ocean, and Ascension Island in the South Atlantic. It is through these ground control stations that the system is constantly monitored and almanac and ephemeris files are uploaded to the satellites. The GNSS user segment is where you come in. This segment includes all the millions of receivers and users here on and above the Earth. From vehicles to boats, planes, and handheld units used for hiking, navigation is the largest civilian use of GNSS technology. This is also where precision GNSS applications reside, such as land surveying, construction staking, and grade control, and precision machine guidance for construction and agriculture.